You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Ellis Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. You know why you're here, don't you? The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? It's a rhetorical question. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's gonna think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Farley. The eight-month-old Basset Hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? Yes, the chief said it may be a while. I can see you don't mind getting your hands dirty, though. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. It's deathly quiet. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. Just finishing. Yeah, it's a big place. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. That sounds super. I'm in room one and that's down the hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. And which room are you in, Sam? Good, we're neighbors. Just knock if you need me. Real phantasm of nightmares, fraying at the edges. The bag lady. Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector Dupont. I wasn't sure you'd come, but I suppose you're between jobs? Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam, that's your cover now. So, the job. Dorota Shaw, 21, the Compass Cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. Yes. Keep up, Sam. That's the girl who was murdered? One, well, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. 
It all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs. To be honest, and I thought she'd probably been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out, I'll help you. Do I have to spell it out? I'll make your problem go away, or at least sink it to the bottom of a pile of paperwork. Your old town? The problem? Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. Increasingly impatient. And maybe the people sensed it. Sense something was wrong. Just... I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already. Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? Nice, yes, that's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Sorry. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. There, tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Because they may have killed someone. It's not great for my reputation, is it? Stay at Violet's, the home of killers and hobos. It's not the first time I've harboured killers, Sam. I'm sure it won't be the last. Just true in a way. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. With Poe and Monroe. So we've just had a dream come in. Is there something I can help with, Miss Castle? I hope we're not being too much trouble. It's very brave of you to tell the Chief that Dorota would be murdered and then stick around afterwards. I'd have run for sure. You strike me as someone braver than that. Why would I run? You're prime suspect, aren't you? You look strong enough to strangle another woman. Even if you're innocent, a jury would probably convict you. Even if I'm in You look strong enough to strangle another woman too. Well, if you can't pay for your rooms, we might just find out. of um, her life. Um, there are all, um, all these different, perhaps different 